Woo! What's going on guys, Orms Forum Country guys, another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing one of those, one of those videos, you know, we're talking about Matthew Stafford. Um, kind of one of those, you know, no notes, I got no notes, no book here today. I wish you could see it, I could move the camera, but I don't wanna mess with my stand, because it's been acting a little bit on the fritz. But, we're gonna be talking about Matthew Stafford coming to town again. Um, you guys know who Matthew Stafford is. 12 years as a Detroit Lion. Three playoff appearances, zero wins. Um, broke a lot of Detroit Lions records. Broke a lot of NFL quarterback records, um, to be honest with you. Um, has played in the league. I now, I now think he's going on. He did 12, right? He did 12 in Detroit. 13, won the Super Bowl in L.A. 14, 15. This is his 16th year? I want to say this is his fourth year as a Ram, so... 13, 14, 15, I think it's his 16th or 17th year in the NFL. 34, 35 years old. Quarterback has, you know, you know the story of Matthew Stafford. Number one overall pick. You know, you guys know in, in, in uh, about how I feel about Matthew Stafford. Um, uh, we are in game, game uh, 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 mode as we speak. Week one is just around the corner. More videos to come. But it's game mode. It's game mode. And, you know, I made this video last year, I believe. I'm pretty sure I did even go back in the archives. You can go watch to see what I said about Matthew Stafford coming into town last year. Um, if you follow my channel, if you've, if you've been here since day one, I really appreciate it. If you haven't, you know, that's okay too. That's okay too. But I'll tell you how, you know, um, for the people that really haven't been here, on how I've felt about Matthew Stafford over the years. Um, you're looking at... Matthew Stafford slappy you really are um, probably even in his earliest years you know especially when he was getting hurt and all that stuff you know he's a number one overall pick out of Georgia Georgia Bulldog um, getting hurt like I said you know and then being a really good quarterback for us I thought you know you know took a lot of blame and he deserves a lot of blame for not winning here um, I've always thought he was a top 10 to 15 quarterback in the NFL. I still do. I still think he's a really good quarterback. I really do. I actually think he's still more talented than Jared Goff. That doesn't mean that I don't like Goff. You guys know when we when we traded for Jared Goff, I despised the trade. Me being a Stafford slappy, I thought we should have won something for Stafford. And trust me, he doesn't go he doesn't go um blameless. He should take a lot to blame for not winning anything in Detroit. Three playoff appearances, like I said, zero wins. Just going to get the job done. Here for 12 years. Could have left. I think he had two or three contracts here. Um, and he could have went somewhere else. Another team would have paid for his services. You know, there's a lot of people that said that if um, he never went to, you know, after the first year, after the first rookie contract, uh, uh, of, her, of his being done that you know nobody ever would have taken um, him on their team. I think that's total BS. Um, it's proofs in the pudding. He's been in the league for six, going on 16, 17 years. Now, like I said, he's, he, uh, I've been a huge slappy of his for years. I think he's a damn good quarterback. I am ecstatic we have Jared Goff now, but it took me a while took me a year, year and a half, you know, to finally get my, my feelings pretty much tossed aside. You know, I'll never apologize for my actions or my words that I ever said about Jared Goff or Matthew Stafford or, or anything of any type of player. It's not just a Jared Goff thing or a Stafford thing. Um, I'll never apologize. I can always admit when I was wrong, and that's not an issue there too. Um, I was very wrong on Jared Goff coming here. Um, proof's in the pudding. Like I said, you know, winning, he's been he's been nothing short of, of of excellent here. I still think Jared Goff is a top 10 quarterback as well as Matt Stafford. If I was to put Stafford 9, Goff would be 10. That's exactly how I feel about these two quarterbacks. I have a lot of respect for both of these guys. It took me a little bit with Goff, though. But that's fine. But he's coming into town. We did this video last year. You know, there's... There, there, there's that fan base out there again that thinks that Stafford doesn't deserve um, 
criticism or doesn't deserve to be booed or anything like that. Coming into Ford Field, it's a Sunday night game. Week one against LA Rams at Ford Field. Now, I think you, you should go about this one of two ways. There's three ways you can go about it, but this is what I would do. Um, if I was at that game, unfortunately, I'm not going to be at that football game. I wish I was. But if I was there, I'd be booing that man relentlessly. Um, I am a Lions fan, true and true. I'm not a Detroit Rams fan or anything like that, which I've been accused of in the past. Um, not whatsoever. I want the Lions to abuse that man on Sunday night. Now, I don't wish him any ill will. I don't wish him to be hurt for the year or anything like that. But I hope they hit, hit, hit him all day. Put his ass on the turf consistently. It's exactly what I want to see. But with the booing thing, boo him. Now, boo him relentless, relentlessly. <coughs> Excuse me. Boo him relentlessly. There shouldn't be any any qualms about it. Now, that's just kind of my opinion. But there's a couple things you can do here. There's three things. And the two things that I'm mostly on the side of. Booing him or, and this will never happen because you just will never get so many people involved in it. But it would be actually really, really interesting if everybody did this. Dead silence when he came out. Because he'll probably lead the way again unless they try to change it up last year. Last year he came out, he led the team. He was fired up. He was first one out the tunnel for the Rams. And he was booed relentlessly. And he was like, come on, let's go. He was all fired up. He was mic'd up. And understandably so. But imagine if he was, imagine if it was dead silence. Nothing. You can hear a pin drop. It'll never happen. It'll never happen. But it would be something special, I think. Just nothing. No, no reaction. You know, I, I, I'm more on the side of booing. But I think the dead silence part would be very interesting. But it'll never happen. It'll never happen. But I think it would be very funny and interesting. And then there's the third thing you can do, and I'm totally against it, is clapping your face off, screaming number nine, screaming Matt Stafford, if you're a Lions fan. Like, respect him all you want. I do as a fan. I do as a Detroit Lions fan. I respect Matthew Stafford. I, One of my favorite players in the NFL, ever, actually. He's, he's in my top, probably in my top five or ten. Guaranteed. He, he's right in there. I have a lot of, you know, older guys. I'm, I'm an older dude. Um, I like some of the older players from, you know, years past in the 90s and, you know, the early 2000s, 80s. So, but he's up there. Matthew Stafford is up there. But, you know, you got these fans out here, these Lions fans saying, it's not right. We can't boo him. He did so much for the city. You know, and, and he did, man. He, he does great donation work. He does charity work. Him and his wife opened up, a, um, I, I believe it was a school. They put a lot of money into the city. And that's totally a respectable thing. And, you know, that's why he's a guy that you should cheer for in that aspect. But when it comes to coming into Ford Field and trying to put the dagger in the hearts of Lions fans and Lions players and that organization, you can't root for him. You can't. And if you want to, that's on you. But I think it's not right to do so. Um, it's going to be a good football game. I think it's going to be a good, a really, really good football game. Um, but you can't come out here and uh, you can't tell people, you know, that, that it's the wrong thing to do. You know, it's your opinion. That's fine. We all have opinions. But you can't tell people it, it's wrong, you know, if somehow... It's, it, if somehow I feel way much different than you. Um, you want to go root for him. You want to go chant his name. I think that's whatever. I think that's bizarre. I think it's a strange thing to actually do. But you do you. You do you, Lions fans. But I'm on the side of booing that man relentless or just keeping it, keeping it dead air. And the dead air will never happen. But I think that would be the funniest situation ever if you just you heard nothing. It was just... People will be too fired up, though. 
You know, you're, just, you're not going to get that many people on board. I don't know how you would, right? It'd be literally impossible unless the unless the organization came out and they really hammered it home about what they wanted the fans to do when he came out. You'd probably get a lot of people on board with that, you know. But booing is, I think, is the right thing to do. And uh, doesn't mean you disrespect, you hate Matthew Stafford. And there's and, and there's fans that do. There's fans that think he was a pile of garbage when he played here. And then you know that's your opinion. I don't think that. I think he's a really damn good quarterback. I think he showed it when he went to L.A. I called it. I don't know if I called it on my channel. I might have. Um, I know I've said it over the years. I go, if he ever leaves this city, he will win a ring somewhere. Whatever team he goes to, he will win a ring. Win a ring. Did I think it was going to be year one in L.A.? No. You know, people want to say, well, it was a bot team. It was this and that. Like, sure, man. There's, there's stars all aligned. He lost Cooper Cup in that game. Um, Odell Beckham Jr., um, he lost in that game. Aaron Donald is a superstar. Uh, they brought in Von Miller, who had a good game. Jalen Ramsey had a really terrible game as a corner, though. So, you know, so like enough with, you know, the, the, the Stars won that game, and he didn't, and he wasn't a major part of that Super Bowl win in L.A. He was a major part of it. He was a major part of that win. You know, and uh, you got Kelly Stafford, you know, she... She came out last year. She, you know, and, and I was listening to the morning guys, 97 won the ticket in Detroit. And I think it was Cookies, uh, Costa, Jim Costa, I believe his name is, was saying how he was, how Kelly Stafford verbally, verbally used her kids as shields. And, I, and he put it, he couldn't have put it better. He couldn't have said it any better. And he had John Jansen ripping at him. Going on it pretty hard. And I was kind of shocked about John Jansen. You can't boo the kids. You can't boo the wife. You can't do that. Sure you can. There's if you can't if you can't get over someone booing your kids, and you're a professional athlete, and you're putting them right out there, you're putting out your kids, your wife, and you're putting them out there in the middle of a football field with a bunch of drunken idiots um, in a playoff atmosphere. And you don't expect some type of backlash. I don't know where you live, bro. I'm not sure where you live, John Jansen. Um, respect you a ton, Michigan man. Um, but I thought that was a really weak take, and he, he actually called Costa an idiot for it, which I was a little bit shocked. You know what I mean? Because you put your kids out there to ex expect the worst. Then it, it's it's booing. It's <laughs> it's booing. It's not life threatening. Uh, there's nothing being physically thrown at you no objects being thrown at you there's there, there, there's no harm in booing somebody none and I and I think Kelly Stafford took it to another level last year she just used it as she used her kids as a crutch because she was looking for someone to looking for people to feel sorry for her she just really was and that that's just the bottom line right there your husband got booed he played here for 12 years he didn't win anything here you know, there's a lot of people that don't like him. There's a lot of people that do. There's a lot of mixed feelings when it comes to Stafford. There's going to be people that were going to boo, you know, if it's hatred, if it's a dislike, if it's just you're on another team, it's going to happen. Nobody booed your kids. And if they did, get over it. I think you really need to get over that. because But nobody did. Nobody did boo your kids. You, and your kids will be fine. You, your kids will grow up, you know, and they'll probably see that video or listen to their mom say on, on, on how they booed her kids and they'll probably laugh at her. But come on, mom, they booed us? No, nobody booed your kids. Take it easy. And if they did, you, you need to get over it. It's, this, this, this society, the 2024 people are just soft. It's unbelievably, unbelievable how soft people are. And I get it, man. You want to protect your kids. I would go to the ends of the earth for mine. I would throw my body in front of a in front of a moving train for my kids. But let's not. That's that's a little bit different. It's 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 boo. It's nothing. So you failed there, Kelly Stafford. And she's not even going to the game apparently now. That's that's the new rumor going on right now that she's not even going to attend this football game. And that's fine. You know, that's fine.
Maybe she's looking for someone to beg for her to come. But whatever. Don't show up. But as for the Stafford thing, boo that man relentlessly, Lions fans. Boo him. You know, don't make him comfortable. And I know you guys are going to get loud there when you know, the offense, when the LA Rams offense is out there. That's going to be even more of a gem. That we need that, you know, we need that 12th man out there um, on defense. You know, Taylor Decker is expecting a harsh, violent, like loud, not violent as in physical, just as in a, as in a very hostile environment. He wants it to be hostile. So I think the decibel level there, I think um, at that game was, I'm pretty sure they broke a record there with 134.8. Somebody wants to correct me on that. I think it, I think it was a Ford Field record. Let's shatter that record. Let's get to 140. Let's get to 140. Let's tear the house down. And boo the hell out of that, man. Boo him. All right, guys. I'm talking about this for 15 and change. Going to get to 16 minutes. I really appreciate you guys coming and listening to this. You know, big game. We're in, we're in week one mode right now. I got videos coming out. Uh, I got I, you know, I got a couple other videos that I'm going to be talking about. Some things going on in Detroit land. And uh, we're going to be talking about it. But, hey, man. Lions week one. We're going to get to everything. Boo the hell out of number nine coming into town. Don't make him feel comfortable. That's it. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the... Uh, Subscribe button at the bottom right. Don't forget the notification bell up top. Hit that bell. Ding, ding. Don't forget to like, comment, share this out. Really appreciate it, guys. Go Lions. Detroit versus everybody. Grit, baby. Boom.